Hi, this is Megan Friedel from the Wisconsin Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And this video on the Braille Note Touch Plus, we will be talking about how to connect to a Wi-Fi network and some basic introductory, introductory skills for using the internet via Chrome. Connecting to Wi-Fi is pretty straightforward. You access Wi-Fi by going into your Android settings, and then you simply select the network that you would like to join, enter the password if needed, and then hit enter. I also wanna take an opportunity to remind you about checking your connection status, and you can do that at any time by pressing enter plus dots three and four. In the next video, I will demonstrate and walk through with you how to connect to a wireless network. Let's connect to Wi-Fi together. First, we're going to press Enter plus Q to hop to our Android settings menu. Settings. Finish setting up your device. Transfer data. And then next, we're going to use our thumb keys to move to the internet and Wi-Fi menu. Finish setup button. Network and internet, Wi-Fi, data usage. Network and internet, Wi-Fi, not connected. And then as you can hear, my Wi-Fi is not connected, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Wi-Fi, refresh list. And this list that it's talking about is the lists uh, is a list of networks that are potentially available for you to join. I am going to be joining my network, which is named Floundy. So I again will use my thumb keys and to locate that network. TVS Wi-Fi signal full Floundy Wi-Fi three bars. I found the network. Secure network. I found the network I'm looking for, and it has in, informed me that it's a secure network. I will hit enter. Edit box. Floundy. Computer Braille is required. So my home network, my home Wi-Fi network requires a password. So I will go ahead and enter that password. Um, re please remember to use Computer Braille. Show password. Check box. Not checked. And you can set your device to um, show your password if you want. I'm not going to because I've entered it a lot of times in here. So we're going to make sure that we are back in our password edit box. Edit box. And then hit enter. Edit box. Computer braille is required. Dot. 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 And I finished entering my password, so I'll hit enter. Wi-Fi. Floundy. Obtaining IP address. Wi-Fi two bars. Secure network. And now that I'm connected, I can exit this menu by doing a space E or using the back button. And I'm going to use the back button. Network and internet. Settings. Main menu. And I'm, and I'm back at my main menu and I just want to remind everyone that in several videos videos ago I talked about checking your connection status which would include like your Bluetooth or in this case your Wi-Fi and to do this all you do is a simple enter plus dots three and four connectivity informations Wi-Fi status connected to Floundy and then you know what network you're connected to. In the next section, we are going to talk about navigating the web using Chrome. So I want to take a moment to remind you all about using the help features that are built into your Braille Note Touch Plus. So at any point, you can do a space plus H and that's going to open your context sensitive help. So that means the help that is specific to the application that you're working in. And then to use the context menu, 
you can do a space M and that is going to bring up keyboard commands that are listed there and you can just navigate through those menus using your thumb keys. In this video, we are going to go through how to open up the Chrome web browser and how to do some basic navigation. We are also going to emphasize work smarter, but not harder. And we'll also cover um, elements of a web page, just a few of them, and how you can use those to work efficiently while surfing the web. Surfing the web on the Braille Note Touch Plus can be pretty simple. It just takes learning a few new key commands and a little bit of strategy. To access the Chrome web browser, you are going to start from your main menu and go to Chrome or internet and Chrome. You can do this by doing first letter navigation by pressing I. Internet, Chrome. And then you can hit enter, or of course you can get there using your Chrome. Um, thumb More keys. Options. Button. So you're going to be placed into a new page and you can, if you want to go to a new website, you'll simply do an enter plus O. Search or type web address edit box. Computer braille is required. So now I can go ahead and I can enter in any um, website that I would like to go to. Friendly reminder, you will always need to use computer braille when entering in a website. At this point in time in the video, I would like you to open up Chrome and press enter plus O to open a new web page. Once you're able to open a new web page, go ahead and enter a favorite website of yours. If you don't have one in particular that you would like to visit, I will share the website that I'm going to be using for this demonstration, which is one of my favorite organizations, the Humane Society of Southern Wisconsin. Their website is www.petsgohome.org. Reminder, dot in computer braille is dot four six. www.petsgohome.org. Now it's remembering my address from before when I've entered it in, but I'm just gonna keep writing it like usual. And then press enter. Search 100%. W -W Once you are, you have um, entered your website into the browser bar and hit enter, and you should have successfully successfully arrived to your web page. The next thing that I want to go over with you all is elements of a web page. Being familiar with various elements of a web page are going to allow you to browse the web page much more quickly. Sure, you can move line by line with your thumb keys if you choose so, but moving by, moving around by elements is going to be a lot faster and it's really simple once you practice. So some really common elements of a web page are buttons, links, and headings. What's really cool with the Braille Note Touch Plus is that depending on whether you wanna move, whether it's by link by link, heading by heading, or button by button, you use the first letter, so for heading it would be H, to move forward through those. And if you need to go backwards, you use that letter and press backspace plus enter. Right now, we're going to give that a try just to practice moving. There's a little bit more detail that we wanna get into, but I just want you all to be familiar with these commands. So I am going to choose to move heading by heading, but you can choose to move link by link or button by button, totally up to you. Just remember letter alone is forward and letter plus backspace and enter is backwards. Lend us a hand, pet adopt, bring home a pet. Now I'm going heading three link. And now I'm gonna move for backwards through the headings. Adopt, lend us a hand, volunteer, no previous heading. Go ahead and give it a try.
All right, now I'm going to move button by button. So go ahead and try navigating using a different element. Add me. No next button. No next button. No previous button. No previous button. So only one button on this page. And then finally, try the last element we talked about um, to navigate through the page. So my last one is link. So I'm going to go press L. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, March Kitten, Matt Cutis, Pet Heroes, Ray Kitten Season. And Volunteers now, are the backbone of the human. And now I'm going to move backwards. Heroes, Ray Cutis, Pet March Kitten, YouTube. Pretty simple. Link. So, and then once you have landed on the specific um, element that you've been looking for, just go ahead and press enter first. So go ahead and um, once you've selected your element, go ahead and move around the text just using your thumb keys. Once you've taken some time to explore a single web page using your thumb keys and jumping around using various elements of the web page, a nice next step to take is exploring tabs. What tabs allow you to do is have multiple web pages open at one time. To create a new tab, you can do this by pressing backspace plus N. Go ahead and open a new tab right now. And then you can jump between open tabs by pressing enter plus K. That's going to take you to the upper left area of the screen. And then you can use your next and previous thumb keys to move between the different tabs. You're then you'll press enter once you're on the tab that you want to put back into focus. To close a tab that you're currently on, press enter plus C. Please pause the video and give these three things a try and come back when you're ready. Next, I want to review some popular commands that are used in Google Chrome. Reloading a tab is when you basically like refresh the page that you're on. You might want to do this if you're having trouble with your internet or if something just seems to not be working right. Sometimes doing a reload or a refresh can fix the problem. To reload a tab, you're going to press enter plus R. To move forward on a page, you'll press, press excuse me, you will press space plus E. If you want to go backwards a web page, like to a previous page that you were on, press enter plus F. If you want to open your history and check out some of the previous pages that maybe you had frequently visited, um, or maybe there's a good article that you read and you want to go back to it, you can open your history by pressing enter and dots two, three, and six. All right, and then again, I just want to touch again, new tab, backspace plus N, and then closing a current tab, enter plus C. And then to open the Chrome menu, a space plus W. Thank you for watching this short video on the basics of browsing the web on the BrailleNote Touch Plus using Google Chrome. I hope you have fun practicing.